Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called Matthias, The Ghost of Salvation Point, written by Jody Auburn. This story is about 10-year-old Dylan, who is excited to be with his family going from the hustle and bustle of New York City to a quiet town in Maine uh, called Salvation Point. Um, his dad has inherited an old cabin from his uncle and they're going there to spend the summer. But this cabin has a little bit of a reputation for being haunted and it's not everybody's cup of tea. Dylan's mom and sister would rather be back in New York, but Dylan and his dad love the idea of getting to spend the summer on the water um, because this cabin is at the foot of a lighthouse. So when weird and mysterious things start happening in the house and Dylan starts seeing more than just little things moving around or hearing things in the middle of the night, they start to realize that the stories are based in some fact, but Dylan's the only one who really sees it. Now there are some bad guys in town who are after some treasure that is supposedly also buried on the property. So they've got some struggles to go along with it as well as they're trying to figure out exactly who this spirit or ghost might be and whether he intends harm or not to the family. So as the story unfolds, Dylan gets to know a little bit more about the history of the place that he and his family have come to inhabit, and his family starts to settle into life in a place that's a little bit slower paced than New York City. This story is a really fast-paced book for middle grade readers, especially ones who are into history, boating, nature, kind of being out, um, not in the city. And ghosts, of course. Now, like most um, ghost stories, the well, most ghost stories are a little bit scary, right? You've got things that are happening, characters that don't really know what's going on. But from the beginning, this story is already launching into the action. The ghostly occurrences are taking place almost from the get-go. Um, and it's actually more of a story about the, the ghost and their relationship than it is about kind of a jump scare type horror story. Um, so while there is a ghost involved, it does have more of that component of kind of unfinished business and um, rounding out one's life. So it's got a really nice structure. The book reads pretty easily. Um, there is a lot of text and it is pretty close together, so probably better suited to older or more confident uh, middle grade readers. And as they go through it, um, Anyone who's got maybe an older sibling who is a teenager and less interested in things that are going on will probably relate to Dylan and his situation with his older sister. So if this sounds like a great fit for you and you're into stories that involve the supernatural but on a more human level, then I hope you look for this book at your favorite bookstore.